So there's been uh, some an unmet need to determine whether or not there's a role for continuing CDK4-6 inhibition and switching endocrine therapy at the time that a tumor has progressed on endocrine therapy in a CDK4-6 inhibitor, because we've seen randomized phase two data that have shown inconsistent benefit. So Postmonarch was the first randomized uh, phase three trial. It was a global study. We enrolled 368 patients. The patients were randomly assigned to abemocyclic plus fulvestrin versus placebo plus fulvestrin. We assumed a hazard ratio of 0.7. This was met. There was statistical significance where we saw a hazard ratio of 0.73 favoring the patients who received abemocyclib. Uh, and so um, this is an option for patients. One of the things that we had noted in an exploratory analysis is we looked at a viable circulating tumor DNA and there was benefit regardless of the presence or absence of biomarkers. The other thing that we uh, presented was some subgroup data based upon the stratification factors. And we saw for our well-represented groups that for the patients who had been on um, their CDK4-6 inhibitor for greater than or equal to 12 months, there was a hazard ratio of 0.7. And this translated into a median progression-free survival benefit of a couple of months. And then also those patients who did not have bone, uh, who did not have visceral metastasis, we saw a hazard ratio of 0.5 with a nearly uh, six-month PFS improvement in those randomized to abemocyclic. And so this is an option with a drug that we know the toxicity profile, which is widely available. So this was a strategy that we tested and then proved to be the case.